Hi, I'm Tom Tillis, Senator from the great state of North Carolina. Before I give you an update on what's been going on in Washington for the last month, I want to make sure that you know that our thoughts and prayers go out to the citizens across the Carolinas, North and South Carolina, that were badly hurt by the floods and the heavy rains that we've received over the past month. If you're in North Carolina and you need help, please be sure to call my office. You can reach us at tillis.senate.gov. We stand ready to help you in any way we can to determine what the state or federal government can do to help you in these very difficult times. Now in terms of an update over the last month, we were successful with getting the National Defense Authorization Act passed out of the Senate. That's called the NDA. The NDA contains important authorizations so that our military can do the jobs that they need to do all over the world. We've got a very dangerous world. Just last week, we have Russia entering Syria. We have so many threats around here that this authorization is critical to make sure that we keep them safe so that they can keep us safe. Unfortunately, the president has threatened to veto it. I hope it's only a threat and that ultimately the National Defense Authorization, an authorization that's been approved for 53 straight years, is approved this year as well. One of the bright spots in the NDA, aside from all the other good it does, it's good for North Carolina, is what we've been able to do to protect the 440th down at Fort Bragg. We now require the Army to tell us that they can complete their mission to train and equip the Global Response Force, the only base in the world that's responsible for, at a moment's notice, going anywhere on the globe to provide disaster relief, our men and women in uniform, to resolve conflicts. So we're going to work hard to get the president to understand this is important for our national security and our homeland security. And I hope to have a good report to you back next month. Last thing that we did this month that's very important or that I've taken a position on is I have to oppose the Trans-Pacific Partnership. I support it, Trade Promotion Authority, because I do believe that when America is able to compete on a level playing field, we almost always win. But the Trans-Pacific Partnership is not a level playing field. It un unfairly carves out the agriculture industry in a way that's never been done in a trade agreement. It doesn't provide us the same sort of due process protections that I think are very much a bedrock of American ideals. So I'll work to oppose it and hope that we can send the message to the president that fair deals will always get approved by the Senate and by the House and unfair deals won't. So between now and next month, if you have any need for support from my office, make sure you give us a call at tillis.senate.gov. That's where you can find my phone number. You can open a case there and always be on the lookout for somebody else who may need our help, particularly men and women in uniform, veterans and their families. Look forward to talking with you next month. God bless.